Am I glad you're home? Yeah. Glad to be home. Took forever to get here. What can I do? I kept picturing you on that boat in Paris, in the dark. I should have been there. No, come on now. You were in the hospital recovering, and thank God for that. Thank God. And there was nothing you could do anyway, you know? Well, there are few feelings in life worse than feeling helpless. So by the time we got there, um, the search and rescue thing that was well underway, and uh, and then at some point, Dante came over, and he said that they couldn't find them anywhere. And all I could think was, that there's a mistake. That can't be. It just can't be. It's not my Spencer. Well, you were in shock. You probably still are. Yeah, I guess. You know, Trina and I stood on the, the deck of the boat for a very long time. She held on to hope so tightly. But then, as the search went on, I mean, we could both just sort of feel it slipping away. It's good you were there for each other. Yeah, everybody was really supportive. And then Curtis and Dante, they took care of everything, every detail. I'm so grateful for that. I don't know if I thanked them. I'm sure you did, but we'll do it again. Kevin, I feel like I blinked and Nicholas was gone. And then Ace. And now Spencer. It's like my whole family is just fading away before my eyes. <laughs> so I'll help you keep up your strength. Thanks. A little edge cutter was in order. Yeah, I already regret losing my cool with Cyrus. Mm -hmm. But the conversation with Sonny was long overdue. Well, don't beat yourself up over Cyrus. What happened was understandable, especially given the loss you're feeling. But I'm not the only one, am I? Esme was your niece. Kevin, I know you did everything you could do for her. We both did. Yeah. You know, the way she was with Ace, I am never going to believe that that was an act. It wasn't. Esme's love for Ace was genuine. And maybe the only pure emotion she ever felt in her life. When Nicholas took Ace away, she was isolated, afraid, angry. And she chose the worst possible course of action. But I was the one who talked her into turning herself in for breaking into Wintermere. If I hadn't... There is no so way you could have predicted that would happen. You didn't know that Esme had regained her memory. And there was no way to know that Nicholas would come back and convince Spencer to let him run off with Ace. There was no way you could know that. I hope you're hearing me when I say that. I guess if I'm being honest, all I can hear is silence in a house that used to be filled with voices.